In this video, we're going to look at how to solve trigonometric equations where our trig function is equal to a positive constant with theta between 0 and 360 degrees. Our first example, we're going to solve sine theta is equal to 0 0.5 with theta between 0 and 360 degrees. We're going to break this up into three steps. The first step, we need to establish which quadrant theta is in. And we can do this using the acronym All Stations to Central. This acronym helps us to memorize which trig function is positive in which quadrant. The A in the first quadrant tells us that all trig functions sine, cos and tan are positive in Q1. S in the second quadrant tells us that only sine is positive in Q2. T in the third quadrant tells us that only tan is positive in Q3. And C in the last quadrant tells us that only cos is positive in Q4. Since our equation sine theta is equal to 0 0.5, is positive, this tells us that sine theta can be either in Q1 or Q2, since sine theta is positive in those two quadrants. So this means that our solution for theta has to lie in Q1 and Q2. The second step is now to solve for the related acute angle theta. Since sine theta is equal to 0 0.5 is positive, we can easily solve for theta using the calculator Theta is equal to inverse sine of 0 0.5 and the calculator should return us 30 degrees. So this means that our related acute angle theta is equal to 30 degrees. The next step now is to work out our final solutions. First, we need to observe the domain. The domain for this question is theta being between 0 and 360 degrees. We're going to mark the angles on the quadrant diagram. So we've got our related acute angle theta being 30. Theta, our solutions are in Q1 and Q2. So our first solution in Q1 is going to correspond to this ray. So our related acute angle is theta. The acute angle should be between the horizontal and the ray. So our solution is 30 degrees in Q1. Our next solution is in Q2. So again, we're going to mark the ray. That's our related acute angle, 30 degrees between the ray and the horizontal. So our second solution, Q2, is going to be this angle marked in red. And that's going to correspond to 180 minus 30 or 150 degrees. And therefore, we're now going to write down all our solutions. Theta is equal to 30 degrees or 150 degrees. Our last example, we're now going to solve for cos theta is equal to 0 0.63, again with theta between 0 and 360 degrees. We're going to break it up into three steps again. The first step, we need to establish which quadrant theta is in. So we can use all stations to center again. For this question, cos theta is equal to 0 0.63, which is positive. And cos theta is positive in Q1 and Q4. So this tells us that the angle theta will be in Q1 and Q4. The next step is to solve for the related acute angle theta. So cos theta is equal to 0 0.63. Using the calculator, theta is equal to inverse cos of 0 0.63. And this will give us approximately 50 degrees, 57 minutes to the nearest minute. So therefore, our related acute angle theta will be 51 degrees rounded to the nearest degree. Our last step now is to work out the solutions. First, we're going to observe the domain. Once again, the domain of theta is between 0 and 360 degrees. We're then going to mark the angles on the quadrant diagram. We've got the related acute angle of 51. Theta is in Q1 and Q4. So our first solution is going to be in Q1. That's our related acute angle of 51. So our first solution in Q1 is just theta is equal to 51 degrees. Our second solution is in Q4. So again, we're going to mark the related acute angle, the angle between the ray and the horizontal. And our second solution is the angle from the zero degree all the way to the ray. And that corresponds to 360 minus 51, which is 309 degrees. Then we write down all our solutions. 
theta is equal to 51 degrees or 309 degrees. Thanks everyone for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoy that. For more videos on this topic or other topics, please do check out our channel. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. We do release videos weekly and we would love to see you all in the next one. Bye for now.